The point, the purpose of this uh, summit for the president was to one, give the American people two things that they really want: bipartisanship and transparency. That's what the American people like to see. Cameras were rolling, and he was reaching across the aisle. The other purpose, the more important purpose, was to somehow use the summit to buck up his own Democrats so that they would get the votes they need in the House in particular, where, which is going to be the bigger lift, and then try to get 51 votes in the Senate for the strategy of, of reconciliation. I don't know if he accomplished that second purpose. It's hard to tell. I think it was a big risk for the president in that he gave the Republicans an equal, uh, pl he had them on the same stage as him. It was different than when he went to Baltimore and was talking from a podium. I think that the, re the Republicans made their arguments very well. Uh, they were. They had seven hours yeah, to but, talk about know, all, all the reasons. You say he reached across the aisle, but he ended the day saying baby steps don't get you where you want to go, despite the fact that Republicans said from the beginning, almost every one said, we need to scrap the existing bill and we'll come with right. you on a number of different points. What I mean by bipartisanship is when the American people want to see both parties T sitting down together, and that's what it accomplished. It was pretty much not much more than that. Um, the Republicans don't want to work with this bill as a starting point. They want to scrap it and start over, and the president doesn't want to scrap it. I do want to take issue with one thing Charles said. Reconciliation is not a procedural trick. That implies it's illegitimate. Re reconciliation has been used many times. Now, you could say it's not wise in this instance on a big piece of social le legislation. You could say there are many reasons not to do it, but it's not a trick. It's a completely it legitimate. Measures. Yes, and it was used for welfare reform. It was used for Medicare. It was. It's been used for many things. Now, it's not been. It's not used every day. And clearly, the preference for big pieces of social legislation is not to use it. But it's not a trick. It's a trick because a Senator Byrd, who invented it, and who talked about it recently, said it was never intended for anything like this. It is a trick in the sense that it was attempted. It was designed as a way to harmonize budgets and cut taxes. Uh, raise taxes and cut spending. It was never designed as a way to execute a reform for a sixth of the economy. Tucker, overview of the day.